Hey, hey, hey guys, it's me, Arkea Kasma. I have to cut my lawn. You guys want to watch me cut my lawn? I bet you do. Nah, I'll be back when I cut all my lawn. Los oof. Well, uh. I did so much gardening, I passed out. That's, uh. sad. So, uh. Any second now, I can wake up. There we go. Just let me take that one down, and I'll go back. So, I was using a ascendant sickle to, you know, do the gardening, like any sane person would. Because if you were to pick it by hand, you'd go insane. No doubt. But you, you can kind of see where I've been. I've not been there. I, I've been down and around over there. You can see where I've been. And let me show you how much fiber I have. I have thousands. Good thing I have vaults now. So let's see here. 92 before I even enter anything. F. A hundred and six? Wait, no. No. 96? 96 slots were just added, if I did math correctly. It's still the weekend, so, you know. Also, I was recording on a Friday because I had uh, no school that day because in-service day. So, in total, I had a four-day weekend, two days of school, technically one because on the second day of school we had a assembly about drugs and stuff, so... We didn't do too much that day, just 45 minute classes. Pretty short. And an easy going day. And then a three day weekend, because Friday's a teacher in service day. So. Yay, I guess. Well, the teacher still had to go, we didn't. So, interesting week, not gonna lie. <clears throat> uh, I'm still recording just to show you how many things I have. Look at all those eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, thirteen. I have the possibility to have 13 new Tech Rexes. Of course, there's the possibility there could be twins or triplets. Don't know if there's quadruplets available. Hey, buddy, we gotta get you somewhere else. Don't. I, we've got to build a platform for this dude eventually. But where and out of what materials is the question? Do we build it out of metal? Or do we build it out of stone? Metal's cold, but metal can be very hot too. Hmm, good question. Very, very good. All I know is my dodos are fine. 
Like KFC, for example. First thing we ever tamed. Well, let's just give you some more health, buddy. One of you, yeah, oof, has a level. I've ever seen. Good job, oof. And of course, we have uh, Dodo Rex, the Dodo. You know, in honor of its older brother. Now, let me go compare what this episode title says. Hear them? But there's like a whole flock of geese going over my house right now. It is so loud. Oh, here comes another flock. Sounds like it's, they're going away. If you can't hear it, then I sound like I'm going insane, don't I? Okay, they're going away. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're getting more distant. Okay, they're going away. If you couldn't hear them, I sounded insane, I know that. So, do we all remember this little uh, cave I found? Apparently, it's an easier cave. But I don't know if I believe that, because the internet is troll. Like, the internet does have trolls. Can I gather you? No. I see stuff I don't like. Yep. And I bring him up here into a... What, you, you can go through walls, that's not fair. Also, I love how I have my melee game super high now. So I can just smoke anything like that. Example, melee damage, 190%. Absolutely love it. The scorpion, okay. Okay, now this is where I run. Don't know what Mega Rabies does. All I know is it's probably bad. Uh oh. <laughs> Gotta unload the cave. Um, so how is your guys' day? Yo, how dare you attack my cave? How dare you attack my box? Wait, no, I can just spawn it back in this box. Yep, there we go. Now pull up the map, oh. Thank you. That's not the door. Where's the door? There it is. Oh, you made a mistake, buddy. Eat him. Do you have anything? No, you must have took it all. Well, we're going back in. Where'd you go? 
You're not dead. Where are you? My legs? Yep. Okay, boys, we're going back. Um, see you at my base, cuz. Or back here with some firepower if you catch my drift. I'm, I'm gonna come back with some firepower. Okay? I'll be back, I know it. I know where you live. So I'm gonna bring in some of my specialties. Okay guys, I'm back. So, I have my Mastercraft assault rifle. I have my shotgun. I also have some health potions. Now then, for ammo I have everything. Except for RPGs of course. And I'm not just about to carry all my RPGs in. Oh, I should probably go get a flashlight attachment. That makes stuff helpful. If I don't know where they are, that's not good. Did I just exit the cave? Okay, I'm gonna go get a flashlight attachment. I'm gonna be right back. I've, I, I've been trucking it through this uh, dungeon killed so many monsters if you want to call them that anyway we're getting close to the artifact because you can see those things are you in here nope just some uh ascending suit okay so i've killed everything in this cave, as far as I know, everything's dead. Let's grab the artifact. Clever, right? Yep, artifact is a clever. And this thing over here. Give it. Sego bone cast. Well, there's a spider. And sub. Title pause if you want to read in Helena Walker. Okay. Now let's leave the cave before I die. Feels like all my armor is broken. When I say all my armor, I really mean all my armor. As you can see, I am gone. Also, now I have this. Thank you for getting the artifact. Dope. I wonder what color this artifact is. I'm guessing it's gonna kinda glow green. Greenish, maybe. This game wasn't too hard. I did have to spend a couple bullets of everything. 
You, you can kind of see why I've been. It wasn't fun. I'll, I'll say that. It wasn't fun. The things that destroyed my armor the most were the Arthropleura and the Onyxes. You know, the flying bats. Those things. Well, this was actually an easy cave, so... Now I know. I thought it was really hard. Looks like I was lied to. Which happens, you know. Or maybe they were just misinformed about the subject. Which happens, not gonna lie. People are misinformed about subjects sometimes. So I'm gonna rename that bed real quick to Clever or something. Something clever like that. See what I did there? Ha ha ha. Joke. Anyway, I'll see you back at my base. Well, I'm back home. I survived, luckily. Well, let's make a, another artifact pedestal, which is why I was gathering obsidian in there. Uh, structures. Miscellaneous? Yep. Oh, that's a green for sure. That's a nice. It's so bright, though. It's nice, though. Oh, man. Well, that cave is interesting. That's probably the easiest cave. Just don't jump in the water. I peeked my head in there for a second. Piranhas, sarcos, everything was rushing towards me. I, I had to leave. So, word of advice, don't ever go in the water in caves. Until you go into that one cave that you need to go into the water for. We, we know that cave. We know that cave. Filled with piranha, as far as I know. Probably has some other creatures now, because, you know, updates, fun stuff. Yay. That. Where's my fitty arrows? Done. Did I put anything else in here that I might need? No. Gonna need my armor. Gonna put it on. Now I can. This EXP boost I got is basically wasted. Because I'm all I've been doing is putting stuff away. Just wait until we get to the hardest cave that has an artifact in. Then, oh boy, I, I, I'm going to need to, like, beat a boss. Maybe. Maybe. Or I'll actually have to bring a creature in there. Like my tech raptors. I got my tech raptors. They're, they're pretty strong. Probably should, like, train those guys up. My raptors. Because as far as I know, they can fit in every passage in every cave. Except for underwater, of course. As far as I know. Where are you going? Majestic. Well, 
I guess I'll see you guys at night time so we can see what this looks like. Well, they're the same green, so it's probably going to be green, red, green, as you can see up there. Also, my collection is growing. Don't need this RPG anymore. Wooden shield. Well, there's a golden sword. Don't need the purple sword. Mm, so much cleaning to do in here. It, it, it's bothersome. Mm. But I, I'm getting some ascendant stuff, so, you know, that's pretty nice. Or dope, as the kids nowadays say. Yeah. Anyways, um, well, yeah, that, that was the artifact of the clever. This was, uh, an interesting episode to make. It was kind of fun until I got into the cave and almost got killed by a million piranha and a couple sarcos. Mm. You know, fun times, yeah. Other than the almost dying part, it was a good episode. The cave wasn't a extremely hard cave like I thought it was. No, it was a generally easy cave. If you're just starting arc um i'd recommend that one but bring like a dinosaur not just your weapons okay it, it'll turn out easier for you remember i'm almost max level of course i don't have the best equipment by far i'd still recommend bringing a dino but that dino better be really strong you're going to get swarmed faster than you can say how. And that's not good. Unless you like the thrill of almost dying. Which, I mean, some people do. Adrenaline junkies, you know. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, now for real this time. See you when it's night time, because you might want to see what kind of colors this thing gives. Because who knows, maybe you want them for decoration. You know, just around your base, just to show how much power you have, you know, I, I can understand that, I can kind of respect that, there it is, it's not night time, but we got green, red, green, hope you guys have a good day, and goodbye.